As necessary, when working with terminally ill patients, these volunteers set their own needs aside to ease the burden that patients and families often feel during end-of-life care. They bring comfort, relief and peace and can be relied upon to deliver those gifts humbly with appreciation for the opportunity to give back. Barbara Haley began helping at Hospice of St. Francis in 2015 as her way to express the gratitude she felt for the hospice help her husband of 42 years received in 2014. She had promised her husband he would never have to go into a nursing home and Hospice of St. Francis helped her keep that promise. They were really wonderful to him and to me, says the Palm Bay resident. Barbara began volunteering three days a week for hospice, providing skilled support in data entry, information processing and documentation. Her dependability, skill and positive attitude are a blessing to the staff of Hospice of St. Francis. Volunteers such as Don Janice are a calming, caring presence at a time of turmoil. Janice, Hospice Volunteer of the Year for Vitas Healthcare, chose to spend his free time helping the hospice's Brevard patients 13 years ago. He started at Vitas doing the little administrative jobs that are nevertheless an integral part of operations. In his current position, he sends letters of bereavement to the families of loved ones who have passed away and also helps Vitas with its newsletter. Volunteers such as Janice have been an integral part of the hospice movement in the United States since its beginnings. It's very rewarding work, says Janice. Rose Baker is one of those folks everyone loves. The Melbourne resident faces serious health problems, but she doesn't let medical issues stop her from helping. Despite the pain she often feels, Baker still continues to give her time and her talent for the benefit of Wustoff Hospice. No matter the pain or discomfort, Baker spends up to six hours per day on Mondays and Thursdays at the hospice office, where she will happily tackle any task given to her. For her part, Baker feels volunteering at hospice is a winning proposition. It keeps my brain awake, she says. When she is applauded for efforts, her response is light-hearted. I keep asking for a raise, Baker jokes. Volunteers such as Alice Ungs of Hospice of Health First are to be especially commended for their hard work in this demanding field. Alice is happy to help whenever needed. For patients and their caregivers, Ungs picks up groceries, provides transportation to doctor's appointments, and brings some of her homemade dishes to their homes. She will help with any paperwork the individuals need and will offer emotional support to patients and their loved ones. She can also spend hours helping the recently bereaved to better cope. Ung sees her work at Hospice of Health First as emotionally challenging but highly rewarding. It is a privilege to help patients experience a peaceful passing, says the Cape Canaveral resident. 2017 Central Florida Humanitarians, the Hospice Volunteers.